Corporate worship is all over scripture. God's people coming together in a particular place at a particular time, singing, praying, speaking truth. A night of prayer and worship, which is uh, which we get to do about once every six weeks or so, is an opportunity uh, for us to come together in the evening uh, when things are less busy, they're less crazy. It's where we can come in and we can unplug from the world and we can plug in to God. Life is crazy. We're all doing a million different things. And just to come and say, I have no agenda except I want to be in God's presence. I want to worship Him. I want to respond in gratitude for who He is and what He's done. We're talking about a group of people, a body of believers, all of them coming together and worshiping as one body. That is what that's heavenly. That's the beauty, beauty of corporate worship. God has something that He wants to say to us as a church. He not only speaks to individuals, He, he speaks corporately to churches. He wants to hear from us. I mean, if you read through the scriptures, I mean, you really see He wants us to come after Him. He wants us to call out to Him. And one of the reasons we have a night of prayer and worship is to come together as a church to hear what God has to say to us so that we might be the people of God and live for His purposes. But there's also the truth component of us being able to soak in God's presence and to receive from the Lord and to listen uh, what the Lord uh, has to say to us individually and corporately as a body. There's something really awesome about everybody getting together for the same purpose. I mean, the Bible says when we gather and are, and are praising God, He is with us, He's in our midst. It's just a great opportunity for us to come together and, and just ask Him just to move and have His way in our families and our children and our schools and our places where we work. Hopefully our songs reflect our lives, you know, lives of surrender, lives of trust, lives of worship.